What's up guys, I'm Jason and this is U Sports TV. The next 30 days are gonna get crazy. I'm gonna give you guys my 30 for 30. So you're probably wondering what the 30 for 30 is, right? Over the next 30 days, I'm gonna give you 30 players and their top five cards that I would buy right now. But I'm gonna put a little thought into this. I'm gonna do every player with a certain budget. This isn't sports card investors where we can spend $100,000. I picked it up last month on Alt for $100 and fifteen thousand dollars i know i got a budget and i know you do too what sports am i gonna do i'm glad you asked you're definitely gonna see some baseball you're most certainly gonna see basketball you might see a couple boxers we're definitely gonna have some football a little bit of hockey and maybe even a little bit of wrestling so gear up for the next 30 days because these videos are gonna knock you out go 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 First up on my 30 for 30, Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees. Yeah, I know, they just lost. I know, I'm upset too. But now might be a buy-in opportunity for Aaron Judge's rookie cards. So I'm gonna give you my top five graded Aaron Judge rookie cards that you can buy for under $150. Wow, that's a low price! Coming in at number five is the 2017 Topps Throwback Thursday cards. Okay, I really like these cards a lot. They take you back to some of the coolest designs in baseball card history. But the best part about these cards, they all have really low population counts. Most, if not all of these, have a population count of under 2,500. Some are even under 1,000. With our budget of $150, you'll be able to pick up most of these, if not all of them, in a PSA 9 for $150 or less. Now that Judge is the AL home run leader of all time, his cards will always be collectible. And wouldn't it be cool to set your 1962 tops Roger Maris right next to your 1962 Topps Aaron Judge. Coming in at number four is the 2017 Topps Heritage. I love Judge's Topps Heritage card, and I especially love the fact that you can get a PSA 10 for under our $150 budget. Right now through PSA, this has a pop count of around 2,300. 1,800 of them be in PSA 10. Just like the Topps throwback cards that we just saw, the 17 Heritage takes us back to the 1968 Topps set. That was the set made famous by the Nolan Ryan rookie card. For the budget and the cards I appeal and the fact that we're able to get a PSA 10 with the low population count makes this card a great choice. The only thing that should stop you from buying it is maybe buying one of these next three cards. Coming in at number three is the 2017 Topps Archives Rookie Stars. I know what you're probably thinking, another throwback card. I can't help it, this card is nearly perfect. Now I know we're using a budget of $150, but for this card and a PSA 10, you only need to use a $100 bill. Through PSA, there's been 1176 of these graded total. Using that design with the perfect headshot of Aaron Judge makes this card eye appeal so desirable in my opinion. And scarcity and eye appeal are two of my most important factors when I'm buying cards. I just had to have this card at number three. All right, guys, before I do number two and number one, I promise the last two cards aren't throwback cards. So if you don't like my throwback choices, that's okay. I got two good ones coming up for you. Also, if you like what you're seeing so far in the video and you want to see more, don't forget we're doing our 30 for 30, which is 30 players in 30 days. So make sure you subscribe below and turn the notifications on. Now to number two. Coming in at number two is the 2017 Topps Chrome. For under $150, this card covers it all. You get a PSA 10, you get the Topps Chrome brand, you get the great eye appeal of Aaron Judge at the wall ready to rob a home run, and you get a reasonable pop count for a modern rookie card for Topps Chrome of around 5,700. If you have a budget that's more than $150, there's many different colored versions of refractors in this. There's also some X-fractors, and some of those refractors have less than 10 as a pop count. If you're on a budget and you're looking for the perfect rookie card of Aaron Judge, this might be the one. Speaking of the one, now it's time for number one. So goodbye 2017 and hello 2013. Coming in at number one is the 2013 Bowman Chrome Draft Picks and Prospects. What a great looking card. I don't think they could have chose a better shot of Aaron Judge batting. The card features Judge with a perfect looking batting stance and him glaring back down at the pitcher. With his thick eye black angled down his cheek like a warrior about to go into battle, I'm pretty sure that this pitcher that he was facing was pretty intimidated. The card has a total PSA pop count of less than 2,500. 
Just recently, a PSA 9 sold for $130. I mean, honestly, how can you go wrong with this card? And now that the season is over, not only are you getting an awesome Aaron Judge rookie card, you're now getting a player that will always have a little piece of Major League Baseball history. And guys, this is the 30 for 30. 30 players in 30 days. So click on my next video right here because we're doing two today.